everybody and welcome welcome to our Wednesday the 28th of July roller prompt and this is what I rolled yesterday to do today <laughs> um, envelopes color brown 12 by 12 paper a sticker some fabric in the style of boho mm hmm well, I've fallen at the first hurdle really because I forgot that it had to be 12 by 12. So I've used I've used a piece of A4. It's it's already pre-printed and everything, but um, I don't know. Does it count? I think it probably counts. It's pretty close to a 12 by 12, isn't it? Except it doesn't match a 12 by 12. <laughs> Apart from the obvious problem, I think we're all right. <laughs> so it's brown. I mean, you could say it's copper coloured, but if you just looked at that in isolation, it, it's brown. I'm going with brown. Um, right, so I need to make an envelope. Okay, so this has actually got a pattern on it. Uh, and these butterflies are going that away. So what I need to do is make that the top. I don't think that's going to leave me very much if I do that going to have a very little envelope okay well we'll see what we see so I'm going to fold that over no no I'm not going to do that first no no that's for later on because it's white in the middle and because envelopes you know you always flip the lid up which in this case would be that one you'd, and you just see white and I don't want that so I printed out a page this is from Medieval Mirage their, their stuff is absolutely gorgeous. It's not the cheapest on Etsy, but it, it, it really is lovely. Um, so I'm going to stick that on the inside. So when you lift the envelope lid up or you look inside the envelope, it's all nicely decorated. That's the plan. Anyway, um, but before I do even that, there's something else I have to do. I have to decide if this is the width that I'm going for. or, And I think it will be because it's got this border on it, look. So my only other option would be to cut it down to there. Which might be look a little bit more envelope sized. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually. That's what I'm going to do. Do I seem a bit ill prepared today? <laughs> Maybe that's because I am. <laughs> yeah, slightly ill prepared. I've been watching the Olympics. Truth to tell, I haven't been doing anything that I should have been doing. I've just been watching the Olympics. I think that's about it there. I'm going to keep these because that's just too nice, isn't it? Cut off the other border. It's quite a good thing, actually, because these have been kicking around so long in my stash that the corners have got a bit damaged, um, as you can see. So it's no bad thing to, to chop them off. Right, okay, I'm happy about that. We've changed the width, uh, which gives a whole new sort of dimension to the thing, really. Now, the next thing to do is to put a brad in fairly centrally along here. So what have we got? What does it measure? It measures six and a half. So I want to put my brad in at three and a quarter. Whoa, the maths is easy today, guys. I'm going to put it in about there. What did I say? Three and a quarter, yeah, about there. Right, so I'm going to get my... <laughs> i got to get my crocodile out, which is behind the bin, which is full, and behind another box of stuff that is balanced precariously on top of it. So there might be a bit of a... No, we're all right. We're doing all right. Phew. Okay, so I'm going to make a hole with the smaller of the holes available to me, which I think it says is an eighth, which I'm sure will be fine. I'm just going to line that up and punch through that. Lovely. I have to leave this out now because oh no, I'm not moving all that lot again to put it away. And what goes through there is a brad. Oh, this is pretty wonky. Um, might need to get Mr. F to find me the whack-whack, because 
This looks a bit dodgy. I, I selected this one because I thought it looked a bit brown and it looks a bit boho. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put that in there, press it right down, splay its legs out a bit. Oh, look, he's got the whack whack. Close your ears. That's grand. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I want to push it down, but I still want to be able to get some string around it. So, yeah, we're all right like that, I think. Right. So now I can stick my paper on. Brilliant. So that's going to go there and it's going to cover up the back of that uh, brad and give us something interesting to look at when we look inside the envelope. Yay. Crack on. So I'm going to uh, ink. No, I'm not going to ink, actually. I'm going to put my glue on this uh, piece because it's smaller than the other piece. So I don't need to gauge where I'm going with it. Just glue the whole thing. Hope you're all doing all right, keeping up to date with the roller prompts. You don't have to keep up to date, you know, you can just be selective. If you're following the ones I've done, just pick the ones that, that you like the look of. Or if you're doing your own, and you've got your own big red book with uh, all your prompts in, uh, I'd be really interested to know what you're rolling and what you're doing. Right, so let's just place this over the top. And we should have sort of three edges that are pretty straight, really. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. Look at the back of that paper. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Totally gorgeous. Right. So I'll just pop the lid on my glue. Oh, here it is. And cut off that excess that we've got. And then get to making an envelope. I'm just going to check my prompts again because... I can't rightly remember what they were. Right, so that's a bit of excess remnant. Yeah, that's lovely. It's really pretty, that, isn't it? Um, and this is stuck down nicely. Are you stuck down nicely? I think it is. Oh, I've only just noticed there's a pattern there in the middle. Oh. Never mind. Right, so I want to fold this in, but I think the first thing to do is fold the top in. And let's just, oh, there's a bit of spare along the top there. There we go. Um, yeah, if I fold that up and then fold that in. I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. So let's do that. That's all right. So I'm going to have to get my bone folder and give this some welly. It's, the card itself is thick and then I've introduced another layer inside. So it's been slightly resistant to um, fold it. And by folding it, I've pushed that bottom one out a little bit. I'll address that soon. So then this one now wants to come over. Leave a gap there. Otherwise, you can't get into your envelope. So it's just, it doesn't work. So fold that over. I'll show you how much of a gap I've left in a minute once I get this pressed into submission. So I'm just holding it straight there. There we go, right. So yeah, I left that much of a gap, which I'd say is an inch. And I think you need that much, actually. Oh, it's looking nice already. I might just stop there. I'm going to check my prompt. Every time I fold this, I'm pushing this inner one out because it hasn't quite stuck yet. So I'll read my prompt and give it a minute to set up. Kalal doesn't set instantly, which is, of course, why we like it, because you get fiddle factor with it. 
put it down if it's not right you can lift it back up and go again whereas I believe with art glitter and stuff you don't get that, uh, that chance right okay that's lovely um, prompt envelopes yeah brown yeah 12 by 12 well I've explained to you I'm using A4 but it's kind of like 12 by 12 so it's all right <gasps> sticker and fabric okay sticker and fabric right well stickers I've got my stickers out that I had the last time when we did the boho um, bookmarks because they are very boho to me so I'll use it at least one of those and the fabric I'm using this fabric and it came from Kiong and it's just it's gorgeous and I made a fabric ruffle with it um, which I intend to sort of stick along the bottom here with my sticker that's going to there that's going to there do you know I think I might make a gusseted pocket mm. I might just do that I have another piece of paper here right I'll show you how to make a gusseted pocket for those of you that don't uh, know I mean I know most of you will know but there'll be somebody who doesn't right so this is the shortest piece this piece that folds up at the front so you want a piece of paper or card not thin paper it won't work really well with thin paper and hold your paper about half an inch up from the fold line and about three eighths of an inch down from the top and cut that at that. Uh, right now we'll play hunt the mark. There it is. There we have it. And then each of you want two two inches. So cut off two inches first. And then another two inches. Like that. So the only bits that you're interested in for this project are these two two inch sections. Then get your scoreboard out or similar, whatever it is you use. I hadn't thought about making these. This is the last minute kind of <laughs> add on. So put your bit of paper, your two inches by whatever length you need and score at every half inch. So I'm scoring at half an inch. I'm scoring at an inch. And I'm scoring at an inch and a half. But the easiest thing sometimes to do is turn it round. Easier to score at half an inch than an inch and a half for some reason. I think it's because you can push it up into the corner. Same thing with the other one. Half. One. And then I'm turning it round and I'm doing my half which would be the inch and a half, but I've turned it round. So I'm just doing half an inch there. Okay, so that's us finished with that. Pop that away. Right, so now what you need to do is concertina these. So, just fold on the first line. Try and keep them straight. The, the devil's to wonder these. And then fold, so you're doing a concertina. You fold it that way. Then you fold it this way and as I say try and keep your edges straight and then you fold the other one back like so and that's it that's the little gusset gusset gusset's a funny word I don't know it makes me laugh I don't know why I think because it sounds rude doesn't it I think we should come up with a, a, a a different word for gusset you know like we have with belly band we call them tummy tucks I think we should have a new word for gusset because gussets just just sounds not good <laughs> right I'm going to ink around here 
because I might have put my ink away even, you know. Um, yeah, just in vintage photo. Because when you look down from the top, you can see all the white in, in that paper, which I don't like. So I'm just going to ink around it. I'll have a look at the rest of it as well to see if it needs inking around anywhere. That's fine. So I think some of you get put off by making gusseted envelopes for your journals because you think it must be a right faff. Well, it's not. It, it really, really isn't. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, it probably needs a, a bit of an ink around, you know. Just to cover that edge more than anything. I've ordered myself some new ink, some new dye inks, like the Distress ones, by a company called Eyes Ink, I Z I N K. Uh, and they are substantially cheaper than the Distress ones, but they should work in exactly the same manner. So I've ordered five, I'll see how I get on with them, I'll let you know. Um, and if they're any better, well, if they're the same, that's great because they're cheaper. So I'll let you know, I'll let you know what's going on. That's about it, is it? I think. Yeah, I think we're about there. Okay. So. These gussets, yes, that's right, that's what we were doing, gussets. So you want, want to place this on here where the edge of the gusset is on the edge of your paper, edge of your project, and it'll fold that way, like that. Now, it's, it's nice, I think, if you just take it and just put a 45 degree cut in there, like that, which I shall now have to ink again. My goodness me, I'll hold it all together and ink it like that, that'll be fine. So the edge of your gusset wants to go to the edge of your project and you want it pretty near the top, you know, whatever you allowed. I'm actually going to move mine up a bit, I want mine right at the top. And then you glue that down. Now I'm going to use tacky glue for this because it's a bit quicker to dry and we want to get on. Not again. Don't be naughty again. Ugh, it's glue. Just going to squeeze it out, see if I can squeeze that, whatever blockage is, out. No. No, I can't. Let's see if I can find a pin. There we go. Now you're just being naughty, aren't you? I don't. Okay, forget it. I'm not. I'm not even going to use you. I'm not going to argue with you. You can go over there on the naughty step. I'm going to use. Um, no, I'll just use collar. What the heck? What the heck? Right. So bear in mind that you want the outside edge of your gusset on the outside edge of there. So I'm just going to glue that down there. Yes, Colal, you don't let me down, do you? It's rather overly too much on there, so I'll just spread it out with my finger. Lovely. So I'm placing this like this. Okay. Just like that and then I'm going to take my other gusset put it together like that outside edge on the outside edge of here so I want to cut that off at 45 degrees don't get your protractors out it's not it's not essential it's 45 it's just you know that sort of that sort of cut what's going on here then I think I folded that the wrong way have I folded that the wrong way? That wants to go there. Yeah, what's your problem? 
What's your problem, missus? You don't have a problem. Oh. Told you I was ill-prepared. I've been watching the men's gymnastics at the Olympics and it's absolutely befuddling what they can do. I, just, I don't understand how human beings can do such amazing things. No, that's... Yes, that's right. Honestly, you taught yourself out of anything. So, right, stick that on there like that. So you see how that looks when it's stuck down like that. Right. So that is going to fold up like that. That's going to fold up like that. And then we're going to stick it to there. Okay? So far, so good, I think. Despite the fact I've second-guessed myself several dozen times. But you can always practice with a bit of scrap paper first, can't you? Just to make sure you've got it right. Just remember, it's two inches. It's scored every half inch. And that seems to give me a decent sized gusset. I, I'm not, I wouldn't change that pretty much for anything, really. Um, more than that, and it gets a bit floppy. Floppy. So hold those down in place. Fold that over. So it's gonna land right where you want it to <laughs> press them down wait till the collar dries do, do, do. okay i'll tell you i'm just going to pause there and wait for wait for that to dry and i'm going to try and work my magic with my other glue as well and see if I can get it to go. So I'll see you in a sec. Hi, well I think that's set. Seems to be set, okay. And it gives you just that little gusset, look. So that's it flat. That's a gusset. That's it flat. That's a gusset. <laughs> Simple things. So uh, yeah, you can get loads more stuff in there now than you would have done if it had just been glued shut. That's the kind of object of the exercise. Right, let's boho this baby up. So, that's going to go like that. So I want some of this because it's just so beautiful. I just really want to use it. But I might bring it up a little bit from the bottom. Yeah, about there, I think. I really like that. It's just gorgeous. So, in order to... I'm going to use Fabri-Tac, but I want to get it straight. So I'm actually going to use the ruler uh, and just make me a line. That's where I want to put my glue. It'll be covered up with fabric, so it'll be all right. Uh, let's try this one that I've had stood upside down. It should be all right. It's nearly at the end, but I just hold it under the upside down. Ugh, that's disgusting. Looks like a baldy man. Ugh. So I'm just going to put some glue along here if it decides to come out. Come on. You know you wanna. That's probably enough because I'm not asking it to hold up the fourth road bridge or anything. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I am really near the end of this bottle, but And then I'm going to put my ruffle, I nearly called it a frill, which I guess it is. Yeah, I'll put this one on. Down there, like that. And along there, lovely. Just press that down into the, into the glue. Have a look, make sure it's something like straight. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. That is such beautiful fabric. Thank you, Keon. I love it. It's very free fabric, this. So when I cut it to get an inch wide from a ruffle, I had to take my um, candle lighter, this, and just run up the edges. You see, I missed some edges somewhere, but just to stop it fraying out so much because it really was incredibly free. <laughs> Is that a word? Is that an adjective? You are free. Possibly not. Let's try and get this squarish. There we go. 
don't stop fraying again. Right, so I've got a little bit left of that. I'll cut these ends off of the sewing. Okay, so that's really nice, but I want to bling it up even more. So I've got these, um, I thought these would go, they're sort of um, mm, amber. No, they're not even amber. Uh, that colour, you know, creamy sort of colour. Uh, and I'm going to stick these on along here. Or should I stick them on along there? No, I'm going to stick them on along here. That was that was my plan. And I'm going to use this uh, little gem glue that I've got. And I need to find my gem settery thing. <gasps> Sorry, I'm so disorganised today. There it is. I'll get my tweezers out just in case I need them as well. Um, so this stuff does not set instantly. So we're all right, but it will soak into the the fabric. So let's just see if I can pick them up with this. No, they're too gluey fine. So let's pop that onto there. Hopefully, I'm just going to push it down onto that glue. Ugh. I think that will be all right when it sets. So she hopefully. So I'm just going to go two or three do um, gems ahead. <gasps> that was a lot. It's just I don't trust the adhesive on these at all. So I, I always just glue them on. Then I'm pretty sure that the just going to trail that in there and then put it there because I've got too, whoa, too much glue. Oh, come on. Well, this is a faff, isn't it? That doesn't seem to want to stick there either. Get down. I've got a lot of glue on this bit of fabric now, which I didn't want to have. But it's there. Oh, fortunately the thing covers most of it up, so we're all right. I'm pretty sure these will stick fine, absolutely fine, given, <laughs> despite the fact they don't want to stick now. I'm just going to stick them on using their adhesive for the time being so as you get the picture of what's happening and I'll come back afterwards and uh, glue them properly. I think what's not helping is the fact that my fingers are very gluey. So I'll tell you, I'll just pause you there and I'll come back when I'm done. Hi, I'm back. They're on. <laughs> they're on. It, I, I felt like I had to fight with each and every single one of them, but they're on there and they'll be fine. So the next thing that I want to do is um, use the sticker because I've got envelopes brown, 12 by 12, fabric and it's overall boho-ish. It's not terribly boho. Um, so I've got these that I used the other day and I've selected these two. And what I want to do is put one there and have it coming over onto this piece. The problem is if I cut that off, when you open this, you're just going to have a bit of a sticker stuck there. So it's not really going to work very well. So what I'm going to do is stick that one down first and it will just fit in there. Bring it over just a little bit. And let's just have a look, see what's going to happen. So that's going to go on top, what's well, not, it's going to get cut off, but yeah, so I just need to budge that over a little bit. Right, so I'm just worried that I won't be able to see that very well. Um, yeah, I think we will, I think we'll be all right. So, right, let's take the, let's take the backing off this, which can be quite a laborious task. I'll just warn you of that now. <laughs> 
It's been a labour of love, this, hasn't it? And it's... Um, I wouldn't even say it was tremendously boho either. But it is of that... It has got that flavour. That boho flavour. Come on, you were nearly off there. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off and stick it down where I said. So it's just tucked in underneath there. Just a little bit. Just coming over that edge. Yeah, this is all working out all right. There we are. So take your bolt. Well, I'm going to trim it first. I'm going to trim it off. Oh, that's all good one. Just level with the edge like that. A little bit more. Lovely. And I'm just going to trim this top flush with the top. But you never guessed that. It really feels like we're going to have a thunderstorm here. Um, yesterday we went out and about um, for our little, our little jaunt as we call them. Um, and it was beautiful here when we left. It was really, you know, a nice summer's day. Not too hot, just really nice. Um, and when we got where we were going, it was a torrential rain. To, I mean, really torrential. You know, the sort that you can't see through the windscreen of the car. So, um, yeah, that wasn't our most successful. So that's our sticker on there. That's nice and bright, isn't it? And now this one, I want to... Where is the mate of that one? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, I want to match this up and then cut the excess off. So it'll look, you'll see what I mean when I do it. I'm sure you get the gist anyway. Um, so I might just take a portion of it off and match that up first. This might be the thing to do. I don't want to stick it down because that would just not work. I want to stick it down to the top like that. I think that's not far out. Let's cut this excess off and then we'll see if it sort of works or not. It's a good half a sticker there. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to that. Yeah, look, it sort of works. It's just um, emboss, I nearly said. What do you call this? Press, press, I suppose. Press it down with your bone folder. Burnish. Burnish. Thanks, Mr. F. You got it right. So there we are. We've got our sticker on. It's loud and proud. Very shiny. Uh, I've got this half a one here. Now I'm kind of tempted to put on somewhere. It's too good to let go to waste. So I'm just going to pop it on here. Well, pop. Yeah, I'm going to put it on there anyway. You're going on, so you might as well comply. Surrender. Right, and I'll just trim off the excess of that. Oh my goodness, it is so warm and humid. That's the side. Oh, that's it. That's not a very good job. That's better. Right, so there we are. Lovely, just burnish that down. So yeah, we've got a bit of bit of sticker that, there and a bit of sticker here. What's wrong with you that you don't want to lie flat? There we go. It's not the most boho thing I've ever seen in my life, if I'm honest with you. But then... I don't think you could describe it as anything else either, so I'm going with boho. It's quite pleasant actually, it's nice. So I haven't got any twine, 
I keep saying that and I keep meaning to order some and then I forget. So I'm using my bit of uh, <laughs> bit of burlap hessian uh, I think it I think it was a sort of ribbon trim thing at one stage in its life, but it's been used so often <laughs> for this. There's very little left of it. Right, I don't need all that length, I can tell you. I'm going to use it double. Uh, I might as well put it double and then I've got the choice of how long I want it. And I'm just going to tie it round there. <laughs> it's like if it can go wrong, it will go wrong today, isn't it? That's it. Pull that tight under there and then just tie it off. I just do a double knot. That holds it for me. I've never had it come apart. So there, so you can cut your shorter end off. And then we're just going to wrap this round. And round, it won't go again, will it? No, so that's it. Then we're just going to wrap it round. And back on itself and then twice round the, or once round the doodah, like that. The doodah. Oh my goodness me. There we go. That's it. Right. So I'm going to tie a knot in those two where a knot needs to be tied. Like that. Trim off the excess ends. Okay. I think that's it. I think I'm there. I appreciate it's not the most boho thing you've ever seen but it might give you an idea even with the gussets you might find those useful so let's open it up round we go and then inside oh look oh look gussets i can get lots of stuff in there excellent so close it up again you see we've got the continuation there of the sticker and then here it looks like the same sticker <laughs> Simple things. Simple things please simple minds. So there we go around there and that's that. So there we have it guys. Not the slickest presentation ever. I'm sure you'll agree. But we got there in the end didn't we? And it, it looks quite nice. I don't think you could say it's anything else but boho. Uh, and that would that would go into a boho journal, no problem, I would have thought. Um, even if you put it sort of on the front cover, inside the front cover or the back cover, where you've got this gusseted envelope where you can just shove things in. Yeah, anyway, let's get on to the important part, which is the draw for tomorrow's prompt. So out comes the big red book and the dice. And unbelievably, I need another new piece of paper. I cannot believe how we're munching through these days. It's ridiculous how quickly time goes, isn't it? There we go. Right, so I'll put the title on it. So it will be Thursday... the 29th of Ju uh, July, yeah, roller prompt. Okay, are you ready? Let's see what we get. Here we are. So the first one then is the type. So let's see what we're making. Four. No, it's got a, red, a line through it, so I can't have four. So let me roll it again. One. Journal. Oh, tag. Do you know we haven't had journaling card in the whole of this? Bizarre, isn't it? So we're making a tag. 
and the colour will be green. Oh yes, I'm liking it so far. And the paper will be acetate. <laughs> it had to go wrong somewhere, didn't it? Acetate. And the, uh, where are we? Uh, focal point. Ah, flower, but I can't have flower because it's uh, got a line through it. So I'll roll that one again. <laughs> Two sixes in the row. Honestly, if you were playing for money, you'd never get that. Oh, it's gone off the flipping book. Look at that. Six. Come on. What's going on? Four. Artwork. And as I said to you before, artwork can be anything. You can clip something out of a magazine. You can use anything that, you know, you think is artwork. Uh, decoration six what's wrong with this blooming thing fabric oh glory and the style the all important style three botanical okay that could be worse um, that really honestly and truthfully could be so much worse. Uh, I'm not rolling a number because uh, I'm not. I'm only going to do two. Or in the case of this boho envelope, one. <laughs> so let's put those in the book then. So I'm making a tag. It's in green. I need to include acetate. Uh, artwork. fabric and botanical okay so let's just check through those and make sure that we haven't reached our three limit with any of them so uh, this one tag no we've only done two green ah, we've only done this is the first one wow uh, what was this one? No, we've only done two of those acetate. Um, this one, st sticker, That's that should have been dead. I've got three of those. Um, and what did I roll today? What did I roll today? What's wrong with me? Focal point, artwork, right. No, I've only rolled two of those. And decoration, fabric, one, two, three. Yeah, so fabric can get crossed out. There's only one more day to go on on this book. And then I'm going to have a bit of a, a rejig with my with some of the prompts. Um, for example, we haven't had journaling card yet, so I can take that through to the next one. Um, bookmarks, one, we've had them twice and um, I don't really want to make any more uh, so colour I'll, I'll select some different colours just to change it up a bit the paper I think we're probably alright with the paper it's limited what you can have for paper isn't it I mean you could have brown bag and I don't know tracing paper or whatever but we'll see and the focal point I think I might make it something like um, decoupage I was talking to Bernice last night about this decoupage and something else that she said that was a good idea so i'll have a think about that well tomorrow we'll roll for what i'm going to do on friday uh, and then when i come to do the new page it will be different prompts um for example i'm going to take boho out of there because it's just, just i just don't enjoy boho and i think that botanical yeah botanical and nature you see botanical is flowers isn't it anything floral and nature i would say is perhaps the animal kingdom just so that there's a point of difference but boho that we're definitely losing boho can tell you that 
here comes Mr F. Were you going to say something? Edith. Edith, that's right. Edith's going in as a style. Yeah, definitely. So that's the red book put away until tomorrow. And here is my little um, boho style envelope with gussets. Get your thinking caps on. What can I call gussets apart from gussets? Because I don't like them. This little flipping thing wants to, does not want to stick where it's going to, should be. It's a pain. It's a pain in the neck. Right, that's it, guys. Thanks for struggling through with me. Hasn't been an easy passage today. <laughs> um, but I am going to take boho off the table because it's not, it's really kind of not my thing. Um... If you want to join in and see what everybody's making on the from these prompts, then pop over to the Facebook group, which Mr. F's got streaming across the top of the screen. There. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's free, it's fun, it's uh, just join in and show us what you've what you're making. So thanks very much. I will see you tomorrow, where I promise, I promise, I will be slightly more organised and we'll make something really pretty. Okay, see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye.